Welcome to Amanda Enterprise. Amanda Enterprise will radically change the way you view backup and restore. By utilizing the popular Amanda open source backup software and combining it with the revolutionary Amanda Management Console, backup becomes easy to use, yet still flexible and powerful. This demo will walk you through the backup and restore processes for backing up Microsoft SQL Server using Amanda Enterprise. Amanda Enterprise supports backing up SQL Server 2000 and SQL Server 2005 running on Windows Server 2003 or Windows Server 2008. Amanda Enterprise utilizes Volume Shadow Services, or VSS, which is built into Microsoft Windows Server in order to perform online backups of Microsoft SQL Server databases. When you install the SQL Server software, a VSS writer is automatically included that provides integration between the database store and the VSS technology. When the Zamanda client for Windows performs a backup, it informs VSS that a snapshot is needed. VSS works with the SQL Server to create the snapshot of the database on the file system. The backup is performed from the snapshot, and then the snapshot is discarded, all the while allowing SQL Server database to run in service requests at the same time. In order to backup Microsoft SQL Server databases, you must first install the Zamanda Client for Windows. The Zamanda Client for Windows is provided in MSI format for easy graphical installation or through scripted installation with the response file. The Zamanda Client for Windows includes the Microsoft SQL VSS requester agent that allows Amanda Enterprise to automatically create online snapshots of the Microsoft SQL Server databases and transaction logs. As with file system backups, Zamanda Management Console makes Microsoft SQL Server backup as simple as what, where, when, and how. To tell Amanda Enterprise what to backup, we start by creating a backup set. A backup set contains all the details necessary for Amanda Enterprise to know how to backup a set of clients. To add your SQL Server backup to a backup set, all you need to do is specify the client type of Microsoft SQL Server, then enter the host name of the client, and enter the directory on the client you want to backup. You can also choose to compress the backup. Amanda Enterprise provides a you verify feature to ensure that all the moving parts of the backup process are working correctly. You can verify everything from the integrity of the installed software to client and server authorization to the client server communications path. This ensures that the backups will run as configured. To verify that your SQL Server is ready to be backed up, select Verify Clients from the Verification Method drop-down, then choose your SQL Server from the list of clients in the backup set, and click Verify Client. Once you have verified the settings in your backup set, you can activate it or perform an immediate backup. Amanda Enterprise will now backup your SQL Server along with any other entries in your backup set, such as file systems, Windows system state, or Active Directory. For SQL Server Recovery, the same philosophy is used as is used in the backups. You specify what you want to restore and where you want the data to go. Simply enter the name of the Microsoft SQL Server you want to recover from and the date of the backup you need to restore from. You can also browse the summary reports and restore directly from the report screen. Then click Explorer to graphically browse the backup set data. For a full restore, select all of the data or for a more detailed restore, simply select Browse to find the databases and logs you want to restore. Next, pick the location where you want the recovered files to go. When you're ready to restore your Microsoft SQL Server data, you will need to enter the name of the server you wish to restore to. If you're restoring to the same Microsoft SQL Server from which you made the backup, make sure you should select the appropriate conflict resolution settings to determine whether the SQL Server data is overwritten with the backup. If you leave the destination directory blank, the SQL Server data will be automatically restored to the running server in the default location. If you select an alternate location, the running server will not be affected during the restore. Once you have selected the databases you wish to restore and the server you wish to restore them to, then you're ready to initiate the restore process. Verify the source and destination servers are correct and click Restore to begin the restore process. The Zamanda Microsoft SQL Server agent will automatically stop the SQL Server services, perform the restore, and restart the services again after the restore is complete. More information on Amanda Enterprise is available on the website at www.zamanda.com/aee. 
information and documentation on for backing up and restoring Microsoft SQL Server databases is available on the Zamanda network at network.zamanda.com. For sales inquiries and information, please email us at zsales at zamanda.com. Thank you.